A circle with a diameter of 10 centimeters and a central angle of 30 degrees is drawn below. What is the area to the nearest tenth of a square centimeter of the sector formed by the 30 degree angle? So the sector is uh, basically like a slice of the, the circle. So it's this area that's in red. And what we want to do is we want to find that area. And you can solve this logically or you can use the area of a sector formula. I want to do both. So logically, the area of the sector is going to be 30 over 3 60th, right, of the entire circle. Let's think about that. 30 degrees to 360. That's the fraction of the entire circle that that slice um, is, right? So we're going to multiply this by pi times the radius squared. The radius in this case is going to be 5 because that's half of 10. And we can simplify this uh, down to just 1 12th pi times 5 squared, which is equivalent to 25 pi over 12. You can also solve this using the area of the sector formula, which I highly encourage every student to get familiar with, um, just because this is used in higher level math all the time, and we stray away from this approach, although it is important for you to have that logical intuition, but um, it just becomes more pragmatic to be familiar with the use of this formula. Anyway, so the, the difference is theta is measured not in degrees, but in radians. So we're going to have to convert 30 degrees into radians. So what is 30 degrees into radians? All you got to do is just take 30, multiply that by pi, and divide by 180 and that is pi over 6. And you're going to see really quickly that this um, simple conversion, we're going to lead to a very similar computation here. So this is 1 half pi over 6 times r, which is 5, squared. Can you see here that we actually end up with 25 pi over 12 again? So so in summary, yes, you can approach it you know, logically, intuitively, or you can use the area of a sector formula. I encourage you to know how to use both of these. So the answer choice here, uh, we're going to have to enter this into the calculator. So 25 pi over 12. So 25 pi divided by 12. That is 6.5. Uh, and to the nearest tenth, so it's 6.5. That's option two.